This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, in the description box is an article where Anthony Joshua briefly spoke to TMZ, where he issued a war cry to Deontay Wilder, where he says, listen, I have the WBA, the IBF, the WBO, and the IBO World Heavyweight Titles. I need one more, that WBC belt. You're holding it. Wilder, come see me. In a nutshell, was pretty much what he said. So, yet again, Joshua is saying, Wilder, come fight me. What's wrong with you? You keep saying how you want to fight, one face, one name, all this kind of garbage, but yet you won't do it, even for $100 million. What's Wilder doing? Shelly, Shelly, I don't want to. Joshua, he's going to hurt me. Don't worry, Deontay. Come here. Give me a cuddle. Don't, they're there. They're there. Don't worry. We, you got a fan base that will protect you. Don't worry about it. They'll lie for you. Don't worry. Give me a cuddle. So, the thing is, what more does Joshua have to do? Okay, Wilder isn't interested. It doesn't matter what it is that Team Joshua offer. They, they just don't want to fight. Is it Wilder himself? Is it the team that don't want it? Is it Shelly Finkel? Is he getting into his personal feelings because Eddie Hearn called him Shelly Winkle? What is it? As we know, Shelly Finkel's never had any confidence in Wilder before when he won the title on 33 fights after defeating Bermain Stiverne. What's his one statement? Wilder's still a baby, still a prospect. You can't force him to make these big fights. He's not ready. Shelly Finkel's own words. So what's changed from then to now? There's only eight fights ago. So this is why the fight isn't happening. So Joshua is, as always, saying, listen, let's fight. If you think you're the best, come see me. You keep talking about one face, one name, one champion. It's all about legacy, it's not about money. I promise my fans I love my fans, all that kind of stuff. And yes, you do have a fan base now built on the back of you hyping a fake fight with Anthony Joshua because you never wanted to fight. But I accepted 15 million. Well, you didn't because you didn't sign a contract. So you didn't. But we know you have the fan base who will go with that narrative. See, they tried to make the fight, but Joshua didn't want it. Eddie Hearn didn't want the fight. They were ducking. Excuse after excuse after excuse. And people are sick of it now. So Anthony Joshua, yet again, is saying, come see me. Don't worry, you're going to get paid very, very well. But we don't know how much you're getting, AJ. Listen, you're getting $100 million. Who cares how much AJ's getting? Who cares if AJ's getting $100 million too? Or if he's getting $500 million? Who cares? Look what you're getting. You ain't going to get that money anywhere else. Take the fight with Joshua. Go do what you've got to do with Brazil. And then go see Joshua. Listen, nothing is guaranteed in life, especially a heavyweight. Maybe Brazil is going to chin Wilder. Maybe Ruiz is going to chin Joshua. You don't, you don't know how things are going to go in heavyweight boxing. So, Wilder, Joshua is in your country right now and he's telling you, come see me. He's training down in Miami, I believe it is. Go down to Miami after your fight with Brazil. Go knock on the door. Say, hey, Joshua, AJ, can I have a word, please? I'm a big fan, I love you. Can you show me how to do leg day? Make the fight wilder. Because you have embarrassed yourself. Your team have embarrassed you. Your fans are now embarrassed. And listen, they will continue to embarrass themselves because they know that there is a fan base out there who will believe everything that they say. Because they don't do any kind of research. They can't think for themselves. You see, they're followers, not leaders. Not one of them is a leader. Not one of them. Go see Joshua. Go get this undisputed fight. WBC, stop protecting him. If you don't want him to fight Joshua next, mandate Dillian White to take on the winner of Wilder vs Brazil next. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.